Please welcome the stage, uh, Louis C.K. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you for applauding. Um, seriously, because I did a show where they don't applaud when you go on stage. It's called uh, Mo Betta Mondays. At, um, that's the name of the show at the Improv, Mo Betta Mondays. It's an all-black audience. And I had done a show called Chocolate Sundays at the Laugh Factory, which is an all-black audience. And they invited me because they thought I was black because of my name, because I directed Pootie Tang, so people sometimes think I'm black. And so they invited me to that to the show. So I get there, and uh, they go, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. And then we kind of stand there trying to decide, and I go, fuck it, hi. They go, yeah, hi, all right. <laughs> so I went on, and this is Chocolate Sunday, said the Laugh Factory, and it was fucking great. I had a great time, because nobody else is trying. They're all up there just acting cool, and I went up there and I tried, and everybody appreciated it. So then, because um, most comedians don't try, I'm not saying because they're there or black, but they were all black and unfunny. Every single one of them was black. There are far more unfunny white comedians than, un than unfunny black ones, but every single comedian on that show was black and unfunny. Should have been the name of the show. Really. <laughs> But I was white and hilarious, and also, you know, privileged and uh, lucky to be white. Awesome. It is a very it, everybody who's white should just wake up and go, I'm fucking white. This is great. This is great. How easy is this shit? I don't have to fucking explain myself ever. I look people in the eye with confidence, nobody fucks with me. Police protect me. It's amazing that black people, all they can hope for from the cops is that they'll leave them alone. And we actually get to hope that they'll protect us. It's fucking a chasm of difference. On the, and I'm on the greatest side of that chasm. I'm on the fucking sweet side of that chasm. Just a fact, it's not a nice thing. But it, it happens to benefit me greatly. But anyway, I'm not gonna lie about it. Oh, it sucks being white. White people always complain about something like, oh, I don't get to say nigger. Like, oh, white people, why can't, how would they can say it to each other? But like, in front, they want to go to the Supreme Court. I should be allowed to say it somehow. It's not right. Just don't, why do you want to say it so bad? Just don't say it. Fuck. Anyway, so Chocolate Sunday, I didn't certainly do any of that material there. The Chocolate Sunday is really great. I just talked about my kid and cars. And then I went to do Mobile on Mondays, and I thought, I got invited to do Mobile on Mondays, and that's where I became racist. I became prejudiced, because I said, hey, they'll love me there. Because I just thought, there's black people in that building. So the black people in that building will be the exact carbon copies. There's no way they won't laugh because they laughed the first time. So I went, people were saying, Moment of Mondays is not nice. And I'm like, ah, fuck you, you're just white and I'm better. So you know, I'm white too, but I've been there and I got laughs. And white people that make black people laugh are very proud of themselves. So, so I went to Mobit on Mondays, and it's not at all even close to the same people. They're fucking suburban people in uh, in Chapa Sundays. Mobit on Mondays, they have a the machine, and they have they're selling uh, cologne in the bathroom, and and people are fucking hard and. They, they do not clap when they bring people on stage. People go on, they go, hey, how about a hand for Joe, or whatever, and then he just walks up to silence. I mean, I've never even seen that on any show in my life. There isn't just the benefit of the doubt applause. They just say, hey, let's bring him up, and he just walks up, and the people go, yeah, okay, go. <laughs> and I went on, and... Uh, I didn't pay attention to the people before me because they were smart. They didn't go right into jokes. They started talking and shit. They just going, hey, yeah, all right, all right, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just hanging, okay. For like three minutes of that shit. And then eventually they go, okay, they slide into a joke and get a tiny laugh. And by the end of the time they left, they go, all right. And then they applaud when the guy left. I go on and I just go, and I do a joke right away. And it gets nothing. 
And not only does it get silence, when I move on to the next joke, that's when I hear a noise. Because when I start going, anyway, so... They all go, oh shit, that was it? That was the whole thing, oh shit! Oh damn! Like, they didn't know the joke was over even until I started joke number two. Joke number one... So joke number... What? Really? That's what... Oh! Then I do joke number two and now it's not silence. Like, uh-uh. No, man. No. Like, literally, that sound coming out of many tables. Nah, uh-uh. Nah. -uh. No. No. And then I try the thing that never fails when you're bombing. I go... Oh, fuck you people, I'm staying up here. That always works when you're bombing. You go, you know what, fuck you, I'm doing my time. And somebody always goes, all right, yeah, I get respect the balls. But they all went, no, 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 get off. <laughs> what guy said that, just real serious, no, get off. Get off now. And I was like, yeah, okay. I did like a minute total. And, uh... Fuck, that hurt so bad, man. And I was in the car afterwards, just like, oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't mean to tell that whole story. It's just that when you applauded when I came up here, I felt, oh, that's nice. That helps. That's it. Sorry. <laughs> it's too long. Uh, anyway, but it's nice to see you all here, and it's a, it's kind of funny to see you all because I fucked all of your mothers. <laughs> just so it's a coincidence, kind of. All of your mothers. That's what I was going to open with. I was just in Ireland, and they have these posters. In Ireland, there's an election going on, and all over Europe right now, actually, for the whatever fight. I don't fucking care. It's not here, so it fucking don't matter at all. So, but I'm in Ireland, and there's an election, and there's a guy whose whose poster says, "Stop the pedophiles." That's his slogan. Stop the pedophiles. And, be, and here's the thing, I, even if you're against the pedophiles, I wouldn't want my face with pedophiles all over the nation that I live in, you know? And I told that to an Irishman, and he said, you know, actually, we say pedophiles. I'm like, hey, I've been fucking kids for ten years. Don't tell me what I say. I think I would know. I speak with some authority when you say pedophiles. Uh, what else that's horrible? <laughs> I've just been having horrible thoughts. All my, I was going by a wedding, and there was this beautiful, I was going by a church, this wedding was coming out, and it was just so beautiful, and I, I kind of couldn't resist. I ran up to the groom, and I said, You fucking liar! I sucked your cock! <laughs> <laughs> stereotypical gay guy. Here's the thing, right? It's not cool, right, to make fun of stereotypical gay people, but there are some gay guys who talk like that. There are gay guys who wear shorts that are really tight, and then those sleeve shirts can go, You're an asshole! And those guys are silly. And they should be laughed at. Not all gay, to say, hey, I, all gay people act like this is wrong, but to point out that a gay guy that acts like that is funny, it's just fucking true, they're hilarious. <laughs> Hello! There are gay guys who act like that, and they're fucking ridiculous. Of course they are. Just like when you see a black guy, there are black guys who go, shit, I'll tell ya! That shit's funny! It's weird to talk like that. It's weird to go, oh, shit! With your hand like that? That's funny. <laughs> you know? And it's not wrong to make fun of Jews that they're all chewy, you know? <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's what Jews get. Chewy. <laughs> I'm just thinking here in the stereotype that Jews love money. It's just not true. I have this friend who's Jewish, and I tried to give him a dollar, and he was like, Arrgh! Arrgh! <laughs> <laughs> he hates money. 